Yo, what's going on snipers and welcome back to our snipe phone score be a pro here in NHL 21 So before we get started with this episode I want to let you guys know if you did not see the community tab post basically I am pausing our Detroit Red Wings franchise mode until there's an update because there's uh, pretty much a groundbreaking glitch in franchise mode in the edit line screen and I don't want to have to deal with that because if I end up like recording say an episode for 30 minutes and then the game ends up getting stuck on that screen I'm not going to be able to actually even save any of it so um, I figured we're going to be doing two be a pro episodes per week as we wait for the fix and I might throw out some random other videos uh, over the week and hopefully they fix this bug pretty soon because Clappy did actually tweet about it recently to uh, that they are going to be trying to uh, find the problems so hopefully that gets patched in like that fix as soon as possible but otherwise let's get into this be a pro episode so in last episode uh, we basically uh, were promoted to the top line I'm pretty sure and we also had a couple of games here in the on the road yeah we're on it like a California road trip we just played LA I'm pretty sure and now we're playing San Jose, and then we got Anaheim, and I don't know who is afterwards. Uh, but first, wait, is that it? Oh, yeah, that was, I think, yeah, I think we also got, like, a, uh, oh, no, this is the offer for a trade. I don't want to pull my GM aside. This is the uh, offer for a trade if I wanted to trade, get myself traded. Let's just end conversation. I didn't mean to start that. But, uh, yeah, if we ever want to get traded, now we actually can, because that was a part of the patch, so that's pretty nice, but, um, what I was going to say, I think we were challenged in last episode as well. We have like a challenge, I'm pretty sure. Or do we? I don't even know if there's a way to tell, but I'm pretty sure there was a challenge uh, set on me by Filipito to get at least an assist in this game. So we're going to try and get that. Yeah, it says actually on the side, that's where it was. Okay, let's get into this first game. We're going to try and do three games again in this episode as we yeah look to get through our first season as fast as possible hopefully we could win some games here and hopefully also my controller doesn't die on me while we're playing this because or else I might have to switch to my other one and the Sharks are currently 6-4-1 so this might be a bit tough of a matchup and yeah hopefully we could win this one. Oh. we know it's a big game Ray does this kid have the right mindset to go into this I think he does. I mean, like, he'll probably get there early. He does all the time. He likes to settle in, be cautious, be methodical about his approach. I think it works for him. I kind of like this cutscene that we just had. It's kind of cool. I guess this is a big game. I haven't played Be a Pro in a week or so, so I might be a bit rusty to begin with, but hopefully I can get myself set a bit. Let's go, buddy. Oh my goodness, Zibby's getting decked. I just decked Tatar though. I almost got a boarding call probably on that. So we're going to the power play. I don't know why it says Oliver Bjorkstrand on the side. What? Okay, that's a glitch. What the heck? Yeah, that must be a glitch because Oliver Bjorkstrand isn't even on this team. I don't know why it says Bjorkstrand in the corner. Because he was on the team I played last episode, I think. But Or one of, one of the teams I played last episode or maybe in the first episode. I don't know why it says his name there. That's really weird. Because I know Bjork Strain's a right winger, so maybe it's because I'm playing in the same spot as him. Oh, that was a good try. Just, to, I want to point out that glitch in case. I don't know if any of you have had that problem as well or what. Oh. Jordan Bennington somehow got that. Oh, it's the Razor's Edge thing. Damn. Logan Couture is having a good start to the season as well. Six goals for him. But uh, hopefully we could get some offense. Oh. The Rook looks red hot. Keep burning scoring streak. Oh yeah, because we're on a scoring streak. Hopefully we can continue that in this game. But if you guys want me to request a trade ever, like late in the season or maybe even in a few years, let me know. Oh, there you go. There's an assist to keep the point streak going. Setting up Philip Heedle again. Me and Filipino just know where each other are all, all times, it seems like, because I've set him up in, like, the last few games. Kako finds me, I throw it back right into the 1T. Bam. Good start. Nice assist. Okay, so it's 1-0 us after 1. We got an assist, which is great. 
gameplay does feel a little bit different since the update. I don't know what it is, but um, hopefully we can still play good with this update. Let's get after Kachur, even though it's not on my side. Oh my goodness. Timo Meyer left alone. You, you know he's going to score on that. Tied game. That's not good. Now we're an even plus minus, I'm pretty sure. Oh my goodness. Don't turn it over, True, but right after a goal. They got the momentum out. Yep. Ice tilt. Pavel Butchnevich scores against this former team. Now we're probably going to have to coach Polis aside, like after. Words to say we need more pressure because our team has been kind of flat despite the one goal. Like we were kind of lucky to have that lead. Yep, the coach is pulling us aside just like I thought. But as you say, Snipe, they had a couple quick goals. We need to stop the bleeding. I need to get something going for us. Sure. Seamless defense. Okay, so he doesn't want uh, necessarily pressure. He wants really good defense. Okay, we need some... There's a good hit on Tatar. Okay. Complete opposite direction. Big shot block, and I'll just make sure that gets out. There you go. Let's go off. But that was a good shot block. Hopefully that uh, gets the coach a little bit happy for us because that was a good defensive play. Throw in a big hit, block in a shot. And that's already it for the second period. So we're getting through these games fast just like last episode. So yeah, we'll probably be able to do 30, uh, like three games in this episode. And what's kind of cool is now at the end of periods, there's like a highlight uh, package thing at, like in between uh, periods like this in the main menu. And then also the three stars thing is now kind of animated, which is awesome. If you guys didn't notice that, which you probably did by now. Because CC jumps in too much. Oh, nice. As I'm rambling, Zabana Jag comes in and dangles, and we have tied the game up. No points for us on that play, but I'll take it. Out there for a goal four. At least we continued our points streak. Hopefully we could get a W out of this too. Let's go to the front of the net. Deflected, nice try. I think that was a good shift. And we're going out there with 23 seconds left. Can we maybe get the game winning goal in the final minute? Probably not. But we need to play good defensive hockey too while we're out here. Just to make sure this game at least gets to overtime. Here we go. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha I knew that was going to happen since they put me out there late. With 13.3 seconds left, I just set up the uh, Panarin. We get our second assisted tonight. That's Panarin's second goal of the season. Nice little back and forth. I knew that was happening. Just for It just felt like it when there was the two on one. But there we go. We take the lead late. That's what we needed. Good game. We beat a 6-4 and four team. And we had two assists in this game too. So pretty successful one. That's what I wanted to see. Sustained pressure in their zone. Promise success. Hopefully we could turn that pressure into a goal. I don't know why it shows that like right at the end of the game. It's like the game's already over. Like that should be technically like an intermission cutscene, I think, more. But the third start of the game is Eric Carlson. He had two assists and two hits in this game. Here's a look at some of his work. There's he's setting up Pavel Butchnevich. Okay, who was the second star? Are we gonna be one of them? Panarin gets second star with one goal and one assist and one hit. He had the game winner, obviously. That I just set up. Nice little pass over. Bam. And let's see what else was the other one. And Zibanejad's getting getting for a star with one goal, one assist, and six hits. Yeah, he was belted a lot that game too, but damn, yeah, he had a great game. So yeah, that top line of uh, Zibanejad, Panarin, and me comprised for six points. I was the only plus one of our line. And I only had one shot on goal, which is not really great for a sniper, but still not too bad of a game. Just got to keep on that momentum because we've been putting up a lot of points of, of late. Got to keep on uh, trucking to win that Calder. Like, it's not necessarily our goal, but obviously we want the team to win first, but to win the Calder would be good. I'm going to mute the Sibolsky show after this cutscene, probably, because I don't really care. Yeah, I'm going to mute that. Okay, so, B plus on offense, C on defense, B plus on team play, and B overall wise. And James, can you please stop talking <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so we went up in our line, our first line forward stuff, um, power play went up a little bit, penalty kills keep on going down, which is good, because now we're not going to be on a penalty kill. Extra attackers going up a bit, and shootout is going down slightly. In terms of our player growth, there's all our player growth. 
and like ability stuff going up followers went up by 900 management went up and teammates went up good so we're making a good name for ourselves so far our next game is another road one against Anaheim and then I don't know who we play but we're definitely on a California road trip we do got a conversation with Phil Peel probably about our challenge that we had for last game what does he have to say to us oh yeah I set him up for that one so that's kind of funny uh, practice makes perfect. You said that you'd post a helper, and that's what you did. Yep. <laughs> True that you're a real team player. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I, 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 like if I was a real player, I would swear I probably would be a team player because I'm not like, I'm not the type to object to certain things, and I like to just be a friendly person, right? So, gotta act like myself in this a bit. Okay, so we are taking on the Ducks. And what else we got here? Training. Oh yeah, we got the training. Can I make this auto assign? Oh, this training thing is a bit different than it was, I think, before. Do I actually have to assign this damn training stuff now? Because I thought I had it on auto training. Because if there's no auto training anymore, this is going to be kind of annoying. Uh, game settings. Uh, let me just quickly check, check this before we get into the next game. Uh, where would it even be? I don't even know where to look, really. Hmm. It should be in Bia Pro settings, I would assume. Let's see. Training. Auto save. Hmm. No, there doesn't seem to be a training thing, really. I don't know if I actually have to do that. If I do, let me know, guys, because I don't want to obviously be leaving those. But, uh, yeah, let's get into the next game against the Ducks. And then we have a home game against Buffalo, so I guess we aren't playing Arizona afterwards. But, uh, yeah, at least we have a home game to end this episode after this one. So, yeah, let's see if we can go for back-to-back uh, -back wins here on the road. Maybe give our team a little bit of a streak going back home. Usually we are a better home team than a road team, it seems like, but uh, you never know. Okay, here we go against the Ducks in Anaheim for the first time. Tyler Toffoli in Anaheim, that's kind of weird. And I'm playing on the left side, so I guess Panarin might have got injured. No, he didn't. I don't know why he's out of the lineup again. But we're playing with Zibanejad and Kako, so our line mates consistently keep shifting. But I'm fine with that. So there we go. Let's go, Zibby. No, oh, that was a bad shot. Eh, at least we got a whistle. Pecorine and that for Anaheim, which is kind of weird too. Another Razor's Edge. It's me versus Ricard Raquel. I have two more assists in him. Hmm. A Beetle. Go to the front of the net. Let's put some pressure on. Oh. I tried to jump in front of that. Like I almost blocked our own shot, but I threw a bit of a screen on that play. Let's go to the front of the net. A lot of screen. There you go. Oh, good try, Heedle. Oh, hey, what the heck? Okay, that was a weird goal. I wasn't trying to get a shot. I was trying to, like, I don't know. Maybe I was trying to shoot, but, like, still, that was not how I expected that to go in. But a power play goal, our seventh career goal, so we're getting close to number 10 already. Let's take a look at that one. That was our first goal of this episode with Lindholm in the box, I think. Yeah, that was a weak backhand. <laughs> I just want to take a look at that again quickly. Like, I, I don't know why, like, going into instant replay, but just in case for, like, a thumbnail purpose. But, like, look at this back end. Like, this is a back end that shouldn't go in, but I think it's because Rene is going the opposite direction. He doesn't expect it because Ghoulie's kind of throwing a screen on him. And then it goes in. Let's get a little thumbnail potential. I don't know. I don't know what we'll use for thumbnails anymore, but let's still just go with something like that. Okay. 7.50 left in this period, maybe? Nope. 18 seconds is we're now up 3 to nothing. Chris Kreider gets a goal, and I don't know who else did. But we are off to a great start this period. Okay, a good opening period. 3 nothing for us. We have a goal. Kreider has a goal. And Jesper Faust has three assists. So, Jesper Faust is off to a really good start. Line is pretty good. Oh, what is the coach saying? Just to uh, probably, yeah, protect the lead. Yeah, I know. I kind of figured once you're up like 3 nothing, you always get pulled over to just protect the lead a bit. So 
we'll try that against Buffalo, I think, too. Oh, my. A fight between... Oh. Somebody... Uh, no, it's... Is it, Ghoulie wanted the fight with D'Angelo, but I'm not fighting. I, I, I would get beaten up if it was Ghoulie, because Ghoulie's a big guy, I'm pretty sure. D'Angelo would have gotten destroyed, too. Hmm. Four on four, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's four on four. I could have stepped in for a fight, but I'm I just don't want to do that. Not yet, at least, because like, I feel like my guy is probably not the strongest, and he'd end up getting like injured or something out of a fight. Oh my goodness, huge hit on who is that? Sam Steele. Here, I think. Nice play, and I didn't really get a good shot out of that. Apparently, that was a well aimed shot, but I didn't feel like it was. Another huge hit. That is it for the second period, and we're up three, no, uh, three to one still. So we got one more period left in this uh, game, and then one more game left in this episode. Let's get back. There you go. Nice pass. There you go. Truba right up the middle. Oh, almost an assist. I w I'm kind of a, uh, surprised Truba was able to just jump up right that, like that and get a good chance. But people walked right up the middle. Ow. Talk about ice tilt. Jeez. There's a good defensive recovery. We need to get back. Oh my goodness. Tony D'Angelo, you need to play defense, man. This team is not great defensively. It seems like, though, like, because there's a lot of instances where we've been trapped in our zone. And Sonny Milano pulls the Ducks within one, which is not good. We need to play hard defense here. Nice pass. Oh. I won the Razor's Edge. Okay, nice. Let's go to the front of the net. Come on. Oh, we're going to the power play. That's good. There you go. Cycle that back. Go to the front of the net. Oh. Oh, that was a good try. I don't think I got the tip on that, but I still got some good net front presence. Nice. Oh my goodness. Was that Caden, or not Caden Gooley, it was uh, Brendan Gooley that just hit me. A guy that I could have fought, but I didn't. And oh my goodness, great shot block. Jesper Foss is having a great game, and we're having a pretty balanced game. That might be it for this game. Nope. We're going to be going right back out there. Don't let them shoot. Nice block. Okay. Let's not let... Oh, my goodness. Don't let them get open in the slot, guys. Here we go. Nice. Okay, let's go to the front of the net. Oh. Hutton tried to jump in and almost snipe that. Nice play, Zibby. Let's go back to the front of the net again. Sometimes the defense is so indecisive and they end up don't getting it out. And we're going to end up winning this game 3-2. to two. Good. So we have one goal in this game and we end up winning our back-to-back -back games headed home, which is great. A great way to protect the lead is playing in their end. Nice going snipe. Cool. Another challenge uh, completed. The coach is probably liking our play a lot. The third star of the game in this one is Georgiev. He had a pretty good game. 25 saves. Nice little save there. And we get second star of the game with one goal and four hits. Nice. So we had the opening goal and it was kind of a weak one, but hey, at least we scored on that backhand. And who's the first star of this one? It is Jesper Foss with the three assists. Yeah, he had a strong game. Oh yeah, there was that shot block that he had too. Yeah, he was a really good all-around player in that game. Props to Jesper for that. Okay, so we got one more game left in this episode, and it's a home game, which is nice. Against Buffalo, who I think we lost to last time we played. Hey, there's us with the boys again. Let's go. Another win in the belt. Okay, so... We got a B plus on offense, B minus on defense, A minus team play, and B plus overall. We went up in everything and stuff where we did go down in the PK. And in terms, I didn't get the game winner. <laughs> and yeah, we went up in everything. 
there as well. Followers went up, management and teammates are going up. Cool. Okay, so we got a trait point. Let's use that because we do have one more game left in this episode. So we will use it towards... Hmm. Senses, maybe. No, uh. I could use it towards more skating stuff, probably. Yeah, let's upgrade. Wait, maybe not our speed. Wait, our power skating. Yeah, let's update our power skater thing a bit. I want to get our guy a bit, a bit faster because there's times where I've been having like breakaways and then my guy runs out of energy. So, but we're almost back to 500 again. But Buffalo has been killing it, eight, three, and two. So this is gonna be another tough matchup. I don't know how they've been so good so far, but then again, in real life, they've made some pretty good acquisitions. So. Let's get into this third and final game of this episode. See if we could get some more points because we've definitely been on a point streak still. Okay, yeah, let's just use these jerseys and yeah, let's get into a game number three. See if we can maybe put up multiple goals in a game. I don't think we've done so so far in our uh, NHL career, but uh, maybe we could get one in the next few episodes. There we go, nice breakout. Come on, Kako. Oh, I got it back in James Reimer, Ned for Buffalo. That would be a good acquisition, actually, if Buffalo ever picked him up. I mean, he is getting older, though, is the only problem. Oh, defensive turnovers, I get knocked over. Let's go back to this side. Good save, Eeyore. Nice shot block. Okay. Come on, Griggs, let's go. Oh. Oh! I'm really surprised I got that rebound. I thought that rebound was going to get taken away. Maybe. There we go. There's a goal from Chris Kreider on the power play. So once again, no power play time for us, but whatever. Throw it over in there. Here you go, Hutton. Oh, ho, ho. nice try. Okay, I got to play some defense here. Oh, my goodness. How did he just slide in like that? Who was that even? Eric Stahl? Yep, Eric Stahl ties the game up. Yep. Hmm. Okay, not a bad opening period. Not a great one either. But our point streak is in jeopardy if we can't get anything going. Let's curl that back to the point. Truba, shoot that, man. You don't need to pass it to me always, man. <laughs> Literally, you had a shooting lane, but you didn't take it. Let's go back to the front of the net again. Try and throw a screen. Oh, got somehow open on that. We're having an okay game for not having any points. We're getting some shots setting up some people but now we're out there on a power play chance with a minute 14 left which is good okay let's see if we can get something going on this breakout here we go oh there you go Faust Heedle oh good try oh yeah our, our uh, power play unit seems to be pretty decent like Faust Heedle and me nice little hit there on Colin Miller oh my goodness Milstad took it away and he almost got a goal out of the zone but it's apparently not offsides oh my goodness what is Heedle doing he just completely body checked and it off so go in there and help out I nice steal let's break it out a bit let's take it a bit slow oh my goodness no way no oh still managed to get uh, keep that puck away from the net which is good but man we got belted yeah this is, game has been a bit iffy for us so far and our point streak is definitely in jeopardy if we can't get a goal or an assist and there seems to be some goals here and we're up three to one now which is great at least the team's winning Grigorenko scores and I don't know who else did go okay not a great game for us but our team is winning which is where it matters yeah we need to work on our offense in this game because I don't even know if we have really much of a shot on goal I think we might have like one shot maybe not even like, we haven't been getting uh, chances to score much, really. Am I supposed to go off on a line change soon or what? Oh, nice play. Oh, that wasn't much of an angle to shoot at, but might as well take a shot on goal. Yeah, let's go. Let's cover, circle around. There you go, nice little play. Come on, troops. Yes, there you go, I get an assist. That's what I needed. At least that keeps my points going, too. Even though I didn't really have the primary assist on that play. Well, I kind of did, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't have the primary assist. 
But uh, yeah, let's just take a quick look at that play. That was actually a decent little play because I did protect the puck pretty well here because like, I take it up, I don't see anything going, so I curl back. Still go with it. I didn't hook it around over there. Nice breakout pass. Kako then gets poked, but he gets it back again. Hooks it right into the slot. Truba's there to worst it off. Bam. Good way to keep our points three going, at least here late in the game. There. Here, I'll go off on the line change after I just dump that. And <laughs> backhand glide. I'll take another shift here. As long as we don't get score on in the shift. Well, Zibby can't win the draw, of course. Oh, nice save, Igor. Get it out. Stop getting yourself board played. Like, I play better defense than most uh, defensemen on this team. Oh, you want me to go already off? Okay. That was a really short shift. I guess they just wanted me to play good defensive hockey in our own zone. Oh, nice save, Igor. Okay. So we are going to win our third game of this episode, and we're going to have a three-game winning streak as we win 5-1. to one. Chase on got one late, too. But yeah, this team has been playing some pretty good offensive hockey. Not necessarily defensively, but it's good that we have a winning streak going now. So Grigorenko gets third star with one goal, one assist. Igor gets second star with a 29 save performance. Good game for him. And Jacob Truba gets first star with one goal, two assist. So pretty good game for him. Okay. So let's see, do we have any post-game cutscenes before next episode that we have to deal with? Any challenges thrown at us? Or any new trait points or something? I don't care about the segment. There you go. There's us with the boys again winning our third straight game. Let's see our stats. So we got B- minus on offense, so it was pretty solid. C defense, even though I don't think we were out there for... Oh, no, we were out there for one goal, I think. I'm pretty sure. And then A- minus on team play, so we had a good team game. Fords went up. Everything else almost went down. Yeah, everything else went down, which is kind of weird. Player growth-wise, we went up in everything. Likeability-wise, we went up in followers. And everything else stayed neutral. Okay. And our next game, let's just sim to the next game just in case there's any challenges before next game. Uh, no, there is not. So... Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of our Snipe Fallen Scorpio Pro. So in next episode, we'll take it to a game against Montreal and home ice. And then we have games against Detroit and Columbus on the road. So hopefully we can continue this winning streak because now we're 500. So maybe we could start building our way past 500. That would be nice. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next time.